Taurus. Welcome to your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. I always create an extended reading for you guys, and I'll attach the link directly up at the top of the description box, and I'll also pin it to the top of the comment section for your convenience. Or you can forget all that and just join the Unbound membership and get... Uh, all the extended readings and all the exclusive content and all the channel perks at your fingertips every single month so consider that please remember to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when i upload your favorite content your content taurus content comes out every single thursday at 8 a.m pacific time um and yeah, I, I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation. I'll attach the link above. I hope you guys will join me for those live chats and daily tarot card readings over there. The astrology has not been easy because there's so much just tension and contention um, that's coming out of Taurus itself with Uranus and everything that was squared to it. And it's just the craziness. Um... But Venus is, has not been in a great position either. Venus is also struggling from um, the opposition to Saturn, which she's just coming out of. She'll just come out of oh, in the next two days. So that's actually going to be a bit of a relief, though she does then go into a not-so-favorable aspect also with Chiron. All of this is basically like testing, like devaluing you, making you feel devalued or making you feel like in somehow you're behind the times and that you're not keeping up and that everything that you value isn't the same as everybody that around you that everybody that is around you values almost like feeling some like some sort of a dinosaur like almost feeling these old ways or these things that you love or and believed in slipping through your fingers and really not knowing okay so what's my place in this world venus actually goes through a couple of days of being unaspected to any major planets so that's that could even um kind of exacerbate that sense of feeling lost or feeling disconnected definitely underappreciated um but taurus the card that came out is take the lead. So you are leading the way. And okay, so all of this isolation then comes down to one thing. You're out, you're out in front. And ultimately it's saying that, you know, it sucks to be the leader. Not not that it not that everything about it sucks, but that it is very lonely and isolating. So there is places that you're going, somewhere that you're going, that you have to travel by yourself. You have to go alone. This is a new stage in your life that you've never been to before. So you're dealing with the discomfort of not being familiar with or being able to recognize what's up ahead of you and at the same time feeling very detached and just like disconnected from where you have come from you could be feeling very unsupported and this is definitely something that all kinds of leaders go through that just this sense of isolation this is actually a very good sign because it, what it means is you're a very progressive and and um for the greater good motivated type of energy right now, type of leadership role, or even being the leader in your own life, going into uncharted territories. There is a sense of lack of entitlement, right? This this sense of, um, am I good enough? Constantly questioning, do I have a right to be or do I deserve this? Um, you could also be in great deal of conflict with leadership this week, um, but I don't think that that will last long. It's been like that for a while because of that contention between Venus and Saturn, but that really has to do more with so many restrictions and feeling like no matter what you do, you can't get anything right. Like it's never good enough for any Anybody. and um like okay i get it but but ultimately what it's saying is take the lead it's like you've been humbled to be prepared to actually be a great leader or a great example to somebody and it's through that humbling that you've been able to be like prepare yourself for stepping out in front um it's also you're going to be doing something solo going it alone um, I don't know why you're not traveling or going, maybe you're not even traveling, but you're, you're doing something that you, you can't share with somebody else. It's definitely led by something that you don't want to detach from. This is something that you're not ready to let go of. Um, 
it's emotional. It's got to do with family. Um, it could be some sort of struggle or challenge or, or just something that you're not willing to let go of. You're not willing to maybe give up on. And you have been very generous and very kind and you've given your full self to this. So there's really nothing more that you can give. It seems like there could be in some ways somebody who is being exceptionally selfish and doesn't want to give back or that your family in some ways has taken their support from you and now for the first time or now you feel really isolated and alone as if you're just sort of like out listen the universe has confidence in you you don't need anybody else to have confidence in you it knows that you've got this and can handle this this is also a sense of really being able to recognize and connect and sympathize um it's almost like you found a purpose. You find a purpose in this chaos. You find a purpose in this need. There's a need, there's a necessity. I wanna clarify though, why is this in reverse? Why is frog in reverse? Because it kind of just sort of means that you're stuck holding on to something and why is that? What does that mean for Taurus this week? That's you. Okay. You're afraid to let go. You're afraid to let go of the past or what you have. It's like you're not recognizing or realizing that what's in front of you is even better. That what's in front of you is going to be even more glorious. Maybe because it's more expensive or you're not getting the support that you used to. This is really about holding on tight because you're afraid that you're never going to find something so good. Or you're holding on tight to some sort of financial support that you think you need um, or that you think you need to continue to support somebody yourself because in some ways you don't think they can do it without you but that's bullshit and that's actually really really bad they can do it without you and you know giving them this kind of support is just sort of weakening them and not allowing them to really flourish or prosper um, to their full potential. Justice is here. So there's something that's balancing itself out. This is Libra in energy. Mercury is in Libra now. Um, there's a decision that's being made, maybe in the judicial level, or somebody has made a decision to try to balance this out, to try to to try to help you balance this out and, and make it fair. Somebody feels that they have been extremely fair to you, that they have been extremely generous, and now maybe is the time when you have to you have to cut the cord and and not not be so generous simply because it's it, it's somebody's holding on out of fear or maybe keeping somebody from succeeding in their full potential. Or you think that if you don't keep giving all of yourself, then there's nothing valuable about you. And the truth is that's not true at all. Um, could be some sort of partnership coming in, somebody to help you out or help you figure things out. I don't know. We're just starting off. So Feel free to comment though, because I would love to know how this energy is impacting you. There's a stinker here. There's somebody who is extremely disloyal and it's starting to stink or smell. Somebody who is part of the family or somebody who is disloyal to their family or feeling like you're not good enough for your family and that like, like something stinks here. Kisses. Know your worth, but be loyal to what you love. It's almost like not being able to feel like you're valuable because other people around you don't value you or because something happened in a relationship or with a family relationship that's really challenging your ability to really feel your complete worth or that you're, that's challenging your ability to, to see somebody else's value. It's like almost like the energy of little by little somebody is chipping away at your faith in them. That's kind of the energy that's kind of that's coming out and you've been very judicious and you've been very supportive and you've been very patient and you've been very kind and you've been very diplomatic. But what have they been and what have they been doing and have they been giving this equal share? And no, it doesn't look like they have um, a time to let go. You've known for a while, maybe even been afraid because this has been gnawing at your heart. So maybe you've been afraid that you have had to address this or this has been something that's bothering you for a while. 
it's been scaring you for a while. It's been upsetting you. It's, it's almost like something that you have not wanted to deal with. So you hit it deep down. Um, something maybe even that you tried to keep secret. Um, um, but it keeps rising to the surface and, and secrets aren't going to really stay hidden any longer. They're, they're bubbling up because it's definitely time to um, sort of address things uh, and, and figure out how we're going to move forward and, and how we're going to cultivate health. And healing has to do with addressing those things that have really been causing you a great deal of fear. So for the first things first is addressing this fear, addressing what, uh, what is... Um, really hurting you and make it, causing you to suffer and not trying to make excuses for it or whisk it away, even, especially if this is a person. Um, this is about really confronting this situation or this person, um, at least it, this week emotionally, so that you can accept um, what you feel or what's been going on and just sort of realize it's almost like in some ways you can't turn back. And that's the opposition to the South Node that's happening between the, the Uranus and the North Node and the South Node in Scorpio. Right now, it's almost like you're starting to learn you cannot turn back. And you've tried to hold on to this person or this situation, um, but the situation doesn't exist anymore. The situation is over. And the person has definitely showed you some true colors. They're very selfish colors. They have proven time and time again that they're going to take care of who they are. They're going to take care of their needs, and they're not going to worry or, or be concerned with the family or with what you've given to them or how you've helped them. None of this is going to be really even considered. Um, so honestly, you trying to be okay or make amends or just, it's, it's like they're ready to move on. Um, it's their time for themselves. And so it's time for you to realize that they're not, they're not going to prioritize. You. They're not going to prioritize you. They're not. I don't know what the situation is. Oh, spiritual union. There's some sort of connection here that has been on your mind a lot. Um, maybe remembering when you were connected or when you felt loved. Um, and in, in some cases, maybe it is a soulmate or a spiritual partner calling to you. You know, you can feel them or this will be a time, especially during this loneliness and feeling of isolation, when you will reconnect with this person that you love. It could be a person that you're, you're reminiscing about, right? You're reminiscing about feeling loved or being loved. This person is on your mind a lot. Maybe you're connecting with them through your dreams, through your heart, through your prayers. Um, this could be somebody that you... Um, like remem remember in love or remember loving or remember receiving love from. Um, yeah, it's, it's like you long. There's longing here, Taurus, that I feel that's coming from you. Let me know in the comments below, where is this longing coming from? Who is this longing for? Because there's definitely somebody that you have not been able to get off of your mind. So, um, no. let's, let's go to the moon card. Oh, let's go to the moon card first. Um, nothing will come of this situation. So the, you're dreaming of somebody that is not coming back. That's, I know that's horrible, but it's almost like you're dreaming of somebody, you're dreaming of a connection that is, it's not getting you anywhere to continue to think of them. Or if you continue to think of them, the longing that it's creating for you is, is hurting you. It's not helping you. There's no, there's no progress here. There's no, there's no progress here. Can you please clarify this for me? Blessed. You were truly blessed. Is this somebody that has passed in your life that you were truly blessed to have? And it's like you're, you're constantly like, like, like constantly holding on to the past, which is not letting you enjoy today or this moment. But somehow there's a part of you that's like, there is no moment without this past. And if this is past, then part of me is done too. It's very extreme. 
but there is a sense of a blessing that there was such a beauty. It's almost like focus on the beauty of what had happened. Focus on how beautiful life had been. Focus on how amazing and, and one, like fo it did exist. It was a reality. What did it teach you? How did being blessed like that help you or teach you things that you needed to know about yourself, uh, about the world? That, that this was a beautiful blessing, but you can't replicate the past. A leg up is here, and I'm not sure why it fell out. Um, or maybe you thought that nothing was going to come of the situation, and now there are signs of life. So let's clarify. Is this signs of hope? or What's this leg up mean? For Taurus, please, what's this leg up mean? From family, we come, we come full circle. Like, okay, bottom line is somebody loves you enough. They're 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 not gonna abandon you, even if you feel abandoned, or that you've give you've already gotten a leg up. You don't need the help that you think you need. You're just scared of not getting it anymore. But the truth is this, you don't really need it because you've been given so much. You're a lot further ahead than you realize. You think you're behind. You think you're alone. It's because you're so far ahead. Because honestly, your family has really helped you. You know, or you've really helped your family. You've really given them a leg up. And if that is the case, then there is no reason for you to be making excuses for this motherfucker who isn't loyal to you anymore. Like, cut that shit out right now. Because they definitely don't deserve. They don't deserve your loyalty. If that's the case. Because you have legitimately blessed somebody. Put a lot into them. Cared about them. Cared for them. Or you've been cared for yourself. In which case, you know what? Now it's time for you to give back. Now it's time for you to strike out on your own. Now it's time for you to realize I am ahead and I'm going to do wonderful things with what I have. And you can't. It's, it's difficult when things change. But ultimately, Taurus, it, it's not something that you can't handle. But like I said, if this is a person, you have, you have invested a lot in them and you have allowed them to be extremely blessed. But in some ways, you're not feeling the reciprocity. You're not feeling um, appreciated anymore because somebody is prioritizing themselves. And you have to make that decision. Are you going to tolerate this or not? There was definitely somebody shining through in your life, maybe a romance that has ended. And it's like... It can't turn back. You, they, you can't. They can't turn. You can't turn back the hands of time. You can't get back what you had. Maybe you you had it so good <laughs> that nothing will ever compare to it, and that's the problem. Stop comparing, because if something was perfect and it will never exist again, then it will block anything new and beautiful for its own just because you're looking back or you can't let yourself escape that memory and forward is the direction that you should be looking, but you're having a hard time with that, especially with all that North Node energy. It's like too much change all at the same time. Let me know how this is, let me know the impact it's having on you. Um, Four, four, and then seven. So it's like going from what you have in front of you, what's already tangible, to trusting and believing in the possibilities. Taking what you have in front of you and deciding to make something new and deciding to take the chance to be the alchemist. Seven is the number of alchemy. Um, to be the alchemist and take what you have, the resources you have in front of you, and go ahead and do great things with it. Make something new and start with start where you're familiar because clearly you have a strong foundation. Start where you're familiar and then take a chance and start sculpting this new leg of your reality. Nobody's rushing you, Taurus. Though you might feel rushed, you definitely feel judged. And you definitely feel discontented. But that has to do with the comparisons, just to let you know. Natural beauty and authenticity. Be yourself. Oh, this is awesome. 
Be yourself as God made you naturally attractive and lovable inside and out. God made you naturally attractive and lovable both inside and out. But maybe you've never appreciated this before and you don't really realize or understand your full potential and you're not going to unless somebody cuts you off and you have to go out there and face these struggles and face these challenges and guess what? That could be the lesson that you're holding back from somebody else because you don't want them to hate you or you don't want them to not love you. But cut them off and let them see just how blessed they are. That they have the strength inside of themselves to be able to not need you. Let's go to the extended. I really want to dig in. I'll see you guys there. The links are below.